What is going on? What is going on, everybody? Today, the A Gears Arrival patch notes have just arrived, and I thought I wanted to give an overview and my thoughts on it. So let's go. Casarus Raid, A Gear, that's coming up tomorrow. Should be no surprise to anybody. It's two gates. Thank the Lord. Hooray. We get to fight a con. Boo. But then we get to fight A Gear in gate two. So I don't know why they keep reusing characters. I get it. I get it, right? Thematically, I'm sure it has something to do with the lore. But come on. Can we get some new new, right? I don't want to play against the con again. But anyway, 1660 for normal mode, 1680 for hard mode. Boo. It's going to be really hard for people to get to 1680. So most of us are going to, at least the free to play, are going to be stuck at level 1660. Oh, well, right? We get our hyper awakenings, blah, 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 blah. It's eight man raid. Okay. Here. We get some rewards. Tier 4 Ancient Gear, Tier 4 Accessories. Relic for Normal Mode, Ancient for Hard Mode. Boo! Everybody say boo! What the F, man? Just give us all Ancient, man. We are, we are already getting Relic Accessories. We don't need any more, okay? We have plenty. Please, give us Ancient. Holy crap. Why do we have to hit 16? I, I hate this. I hate this Normal Mode, Hard Mode, different rewards crap. Can we stop doing this? Seriously, like... We were going in a correct direction, and then we just went pfft, all the way back down. Like, calm down, guys. Come on, please. Ah. <sighs> anyway, all right. Trail effect, hard exclusive. Boo. Relic engravings. I'm sure. I hope that normal gives it. I'm sure it does. But uh, anyway, moving on. This is huge. HP of the bosses raid was nerfed in normal mode and hard mode for the Western release. So I don't know exactly what the nerf is, but I think we actually saw it. It was like a. I forgot the percentage, but there was a percentage increase, or no, decrease in the HP when those streamers were doing the A gear raid, right? With those decked out characters. So people noticed that. So yeah, HP nerf. Don't care about this. Definitely don't care about this. If you want to look like a salute, then make sure you wear this. But yeah, anyway, let's move on. General stuff. Remove gold rewards from... Okay, yeah, who cares about this, right? This is dead content. I, tr I tried doing this once. Dead content. Uh, and it's summertime in EU Central. I'm, I, oh, yeah, I think there was like a glitch where you can enter Chaos Gates twice and stuff like that. Is, is that what this is? I have no idea. Anyway, next. Uh, with A gear, the Sidereals are no longer dropped from Kai and Gael. Okay, well, I mean, nobody's really doing Kai and Gael except for people who are already doing it in solo mode, right? So I personally think that they should keep it, right? Because it, it, it's supposed to be a special thing, right? And if a new player is lucky enough to get it, then perfect, right? They can jump boost their character with that. It's like a huge luck, but now these new players have no chance of getting it. So, I mean, you're not going to get it like per se, maybe in your entire life, but if you do, I feel like new players deserve to have the chance to, but whatever. Okay. Uh, nerf the HP on Legion Raids and Guardians on Ignite Server. That's good. I think uh, some of the Legion Raids need, need a nerf. Uh, if you guys were watching my streams, shout out to my streams, by the way, twitch.tv slash noeditandy. We are doing Ignite server teaching parties and stuff like that, giving Dreamer titles for free. It's hard. Akon, Thamine, these are hard raids, so thank the Lord for this. All right. Raids, Ignite server only. Uh, okay, yeah, perfect. So it, it even tells you which ones. Yeah, th these, these are necessary right here. But this, even better. This one, I haven't tried out yet, but this is amazing too. But yeah, especially these are amazing. Okay, moving on. Guardian, Ignite server, Hanumatan. I guess Hanumatan was... Uh, trouble for a lot of players. I didn't do Hanumatan, so I can't really say on that. But I'm glad that they nerfed all these Guardian Raids. Perfect, perfect. Love it. Okay, Ignite Server update. So this is the big, big booty news. We have decided to delay opening the server transfer one week. So, guys, no transfer tomorrow. It's going to be, or I guess it's today the, at the time of this video. You got to wait one more week. Doesn't matter for me because I plan on doing a lot more learning raids. Not sponsored by AGS, by the way, <clears throat> but I am doing a lot more for the game and Ignite Server than a lot of these people who are sponsored. <clears throat> Sponsor me, AGS. But anyway, all right, let's see some of the stuff that they say. Uh, Ignite Server issues, yeah. So this is the reasons why they are delaying it because, yeah, Transcendence, come on. I still don't have the Transcendence. Gems, at least they fixed it. But come on, like these are the things that they kind of need to test a little bit, you know? Like, I know it's a little bit of an insane bug, but like, come on. Like, it, 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 it's hard. It's hard to do anything like carrying people 
when I don't have transcendence. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, the people who have already done some transcendence past level three, I, I think they will be compensated for their stuff up to level three. So that's good. Uh, here, Makoko boot camp event. So we have been asking for an incentive for veterans to play with new players. And they should have done this from the beginning, in my opinion, when Ignite Server was hot, right? Now that there's only one week, okay, actually, now that this is here, I don't know if people are going to transfer immediately, right? They're going to keep milking this. But basically what this is, is if you play with a new player that has this green leaf icon indicating that they are a Makoko, your rewards are going to be insane, right? You get these expert tokens and they give you end game items like relic engraving selection. Chest. This is massive. This is the biggest thing ever. This is a, the most important thing that they could have put in here to incentivize people because you can forgive a lot of the other stuff, but think about the price of a relic book, right? For example, adrenaline, that's like nearly 300,000 gold. This is a 300K value thing. This is huge. So I see a lot of people about to play Ignite and grabbing all those Makokos. So I, I love to see it, right? Somebody doing the things that I do on stream all the time, that's perfect. These incentives, very, very good. I personally think they should have introduced this from the very beginning. Not one week after, uh, or one week before the transfers happen, but whatever. Guys, if you see a Makoko, make sure you play with them so you can get these expert tokens. All right. Ensuring minimal economic. Oh, okay. So, uh -huh, yeah. So the exploits. Wah, wah. This is, these are the reasons why the Ignite server transfer is delayed by a week, which I think is fair. I've seen people commenting on both sides. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, this sucks, right? Because that 200k gold bound gold, that is some, what somebody relied on heavily. While somebody else just doesn't care, right? Someone like me, I'm just going to be stuck on a nice server helping out people anyway. So there's two sides of the coin, but yeah. Anyway, we are planning to send a compensation gift to both Ignite and Legacy Server. Beautiful, right? So we don't know what it is, but thank the Lord. They are giving us a compensation buff. Okay. And then there's some balance changes. So that's about, that's pretty much it. So I think I, yeah, these are the ones that I mentioned. Um, yeah, these are the ones I mentioned in my other video. I think it was, uh, what's the title of it? Like all class balance changes explained in less than 30 seconds or something like that. So you can go check that video out if you want. But yeah, uh, basically a lot of things got buffed. A few things got nerfed. Like, you know, the obvious ones got nerfed, but most people got buffed. So it's an overall pretty good patch. Uh, but yeah, otherwise I think this patch, what would I rate this? I think I should do like a rating system for each patch. I would say this is more like a 7 out of 10, right? Like weird skin for me personally. And then A gear is duh, right? Like nothing, nothing too insane to me. I wish they showed us what the compensation was, then I could probably give it an 8 out of 10. But most of the seven points come really from this Mukoku boot camp event. But yeah, everything else was expected. Nothing too crazy. That was the patch notes. I'm just gonna end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. Pineapple gang, why don't you guys say uh Chrome? Say Chrome, everybody. All right. Take care. Bye bye.